is your first Alert 5 weather with Jeff Matthews. Welcome back. Beautiful view for the springs on a lovely Saturday in March. Have a look at that. Just absolutely gorgeous out there. And the same could be said also for our friends in Trinidad as well. Clear skies up and down the I-25 corridor, and that will continue into this evening and tonight as well. 48 degrees, mainly sunny skies in the springs, 56 and totally sunny in Pueblo, and 54, and look at Fisher's Peak. Yes, indeed, gorgeous out there. Here are some other readings for your viewing pleasure. Para fours and Monument, but as warm as 58 in La Hanta and in Lamar. No report from Springfield at the present hour, but they actually do have a sky worn um, uh, uh, meeting coming up Monday evening, which you can find more about on my Facebook page for those who might be interested in becoming a weather spotter. I wanted to point that out before I forget. Forecast low temperatures for tonight, low and middle 20s. Forecast highs for your Sunday, about 5 degrees warmer than today overall. So we're talking about upper 40s to upper 50s across the region. Looking like a great Sunday ahead. This is the visible satellite imagery. So you notice how the white tends to dim down with time as the clock rolls because the sun is approaching setting at the present time. So that white gets muted a bit as the sun starts going over the horizon to our west. But you notice no motion because there is no significant cloud cover to speak of, not just in our backyard, but throughout the Intermountain region. High pressure keeping us high and dry. A couple of things to point out. We're going to be getting a little moisture creep from the south. That's going to be creeping up in our direction for Sunday night late into Monday. Possibility Monday late in the day or at night for a few sprinkles or flurries, especially for Monument area for flurries and maybe Woodland Park as well. And then as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday, not one but two weather systems will begin pushing in before that system to the south exits. So that means it could be unsettled a bit for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Back us up to the, the nighttime hours tonight into tomorrow morning. Notice a little bit of cloudiness in eastern plains of Colorado. I think that's fog for late tonight into tomorrow morning. That'll be gone by 8 a.m. and we'll be left with nothing but sunshine and rainbows and four leaf clovers. Just can't get much better than this with sunny skies all day on Sunday, just like today. But we tack on a few more degrees on the thermometer. So 53 looking like a slice of nice for St. Patty's Day. Clouds roll in from the south on Monday. Then those two systems begin pushing in for a few passing showers Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning, Wednesday evening into Thursday. There could be some periods of light rain on Thursday lingering into Friday. And then next weekend looks like it'll clear out nicely. Pueblo 58 a dandy day on Sunday fading on Monday with increasingly cloudy skies. A little light rain Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning, Wednesday evening into Thursday and could linger into a good part of Friday there as well. And then for Canyon City, mostly 50s for highs and sunny skies. Beautiful for Sunday. Actually, look at the bookends looking great on the bookends Sunday and next Saturday with it fading on Monday and then a little wet Tuesday evening into Wednesday and again Wednesday night into Thursday and Friday and Woodland Park. Another great day for you tomorrow before some flurries later Monday afternoon and evening, some light snow Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning. Impact scale of one.